Hello everyone, today we're going to tackle a well-known rig called the blowback rig. Now there's a lot of ways people are building them and I've got my own way of constructing this particular rig. Um, first and foremost, quarter dark matter, 18 pound, medium rig rings, a size 2 quarter curve shank and I normally use a size 4 but I think for today's purpose just to show you a little bit easier I'm going to use a slightly bigger hook just to give you an idea and it just makes it easier to build. So first and foremost I strip off a length of braid. Now I'm going to guess so it's probably about 12 inches. Then I'm going to strip off 16 centimeters of braid. Right. The next thing I'm going to make a double overhand knot. So I'm folding the braid double and then I literally just do a once over fold it over again there we have it so now I'm just going to tighten the knot Cut off the tag end. And now I'm going to take. Now, for the blowback, I like using um, snowman presentations, especially. So I'm going to take two dumbbell baits, a dumbbell bottom bait, and a dumbbell pop up. So first and foremost, I want to work out what is the length of my of my hair, especially if I'm going to be using the same the same bait over and over. So take my my rig ring. I'm going to put the bait on, but I'm not going to put the stopper on as yet. I'm literally just going to pull it through. like so and then the way I put the ring on is really important I fold the line double I slide my rig ring over and I just loop it on and I'll show you why because what I want to try and do now I can adjust this this loop now if I put the 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 hook on now you'll see that the hair is way too big or too long so now I just loosen my little loop I pull it back and I pull on that tag in there now I slip it back on and I'll just check it's still a little bit too long I pull on it again so I'm just gonna loosen that like that so now when I take my hook and I put the bait the ring in position I've got a, a fairly okay position now but my biggest problem has always been that the rig ring does not always sit square 
to the line. So you always have a rig ring that's sitting at a different angle. So all I do is I now lock this in place. So just a normal overhand knot. Normal overhand knot. And the minute I pull on that, my rig ring is now sitting 90 degrees to the line. So now I can take my baits off. I can actually slide the rig on to the hook. And now the way I determine what that length should be is Obviously, when I tighten the, the, the knot, this whole thing is going to slide up a little bit. So I want to rather get it to a point where it just, just, just cannot go over the bend of the hook. And at that point, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I tighten it. So now I make sure that the hair comes out of the back of the hook and it looks like that just like that now I take my kicker slide the kicker over and pull it right over like this There we go. Now you'll notice that I've got a small piece stripped and that literally give me, gives me that additional free movement that I need. I don't want that stripped part to be too big because I want the rig to actually reset itself once a fish has picked it up and rejected it. Now I can replace my baits. Back. Put my stopper on. All I now need to do is finish off the rig at the back end. And for that, I'm going to quickly measure. I want the the actual total length to be around 20 centimeters so i measured it at 21 then i fold the line double and you can either make a figure of eight knot or you can go like i do just a one and a two turn overhand knot very very simple and now it's just about manipulating the knot the best thing to do now is to just put it over the kettle and steam it but from here i just wet it with a bit of saliva and i pull it nice and tight there we have it perfect cut it off and there i have a perfect snowman presentation and there's my blowback rig. Right guys, and there you have it. A blowback rig perfectly presented. The beauty of this particular rig is that you can use it with a single bottom bait, with a double bottom bait, with a snowman presentation like that, or with a wafter. It is not intended to be used with a pop-up all by itself, because your rig is just not going to present correctly. When it comes to LED systems, you can use an inline, a semi-fix running, a running rig. You can use a helicopter or a breakaway LED or a drop-off LED system like the hybrid LED system that Kuda produces. It is a super efficient rig that is not used enough, in my opinion. Give it a bash and give us some feedback on that.